Hey there, teacher! Make your first day of school a lot more interesting by introducing your subject in a fun and creative way. Let me show you how. Oh guys, by the way, you can always tweak all the activities that I will be talking about in this video. I'm not the expert here. You know who your students are, what their grade level is, and at the end of the day, you are still the expert here as the subject teacher. So these ideas that I'll be sharing with you are just things that you can start with. And I hope that this will spark your creativity as you prepare for your first day of class. Bonus tip guys, these activities here are just the tools for you to communicate the why to your students. You should be able to communicate why they should study that particular subject that you are teaching. They should know the importance of it. Communicating the why will not only spark their interest short term but also long term. Let's start with chemistry. In chemistry, you can do a mini magic show. So instead of you wearing capes and magic hats, you have to wear your proper PPE and that includes your lab gown. So this happened to me a few years ago when I started to teach chemistry to my students. I gathered them in a science laboratory with them wearing their lab gowns and proper PPE. And I literally called it chemistry magic show. So I acted like I'm a magician, but instead of carrying wands, I was carrying beakers, alcohol lamp, steering rod, and even Bunsen burner. So you have to be a little bit extra and animated in this. So you're not just um, going to demonstrate certain chemistry magic tricks, but you will also try to act as a magician because your goal is to really amaze them. But this time it's not magic. It's just simply chemistry. So by that time, my students were really amazed by what they saw and it somehow sparked curiosity and interest when it comes to the subject itself. And at the end of the activity, I was able to process everything to them and it's like a hook telling them that if you want to learn more about why that happened, then definitely look forward to our lessons in chemistry. It's not magic, it's just chemistry. So guys, if you are interested in how this could work in a very simple setup, then I recommend that you check out my activity guide linked in the description box down below. It contains all the instructions and the materials that you need for you to be able to prepare and do your best on your first day of class with your students. Next subject is physics. For physics, what I usually do with my students depending on their grade level, but the easiest activity is for them to share their favorite sport. This could be a group or individual activity depending on your class dynamics. So based on the title itself, they are to share about their favorite sport. Because what's the good thing about this is you're already connecting physics to a point of interest. And that is of course the sport that they really like or enjoy doing or watching. So of course the students will be given a time to prepare and at the end of your session or your meeting, depending on your time budget, you will ask them to prepare their output in front of the class. Again, it could either be individually or as a group. However, just to make sure that they are maximizing the time that they are given and to make your life and their lives a lot more easier, I have created a worksheet with the right guide questions as they go through this activity. So yes, they will share about sports, but we want to focus more on physics, right? So say for example, one of the questions in that specific activity worksheet is what will make these players successful in their sport? Or what are the key factors that are essential for this specific type of sport? Say for example, if it's basketball, do you need speed? Do you need endurance? So later on, as one student will prepare and present their output, you will be able to get certain physics terminologies there. And you can also process at the end that those things will be discussed further in your class all throughout the school year. Next is biology. So this time, it's just question and answer portion. 
So what you can do is you can ask plenty of open-minded questions to your students that will somehow spark curiosity in their minds. So the goal here is to help stimulate discussion among the students, but do make sure that you are ready to step in and offer some guidance or useful points when the ideas start running dry. So examples would be questions like, why do some people have black hair while others have blonde hair? Or why do giraffes have long necks? This should be a very fun discussion among your students. So be prepared to hear their amazing and mind-blowing answers. And also be sure and prepared to process everything at the end again they will learn a lot of these things. They will understand how living things function and work through your class in biology. Next would be mathematics. While well, people have an innate prejudice that math is difficult or it's hard, well, maybe yes, but it doesn't necessarily have to be boring. It can also be fun. So why not start your mathematics class with games? Play some games with your students and if you want more ideas on how you can do that, just check out my video right here. And next would be literature. For this activity, I have found inspiration from a certain blog linked in the description box down below and it's called What's in the Suitcase. This is a good activity to pick interest among your students. So for you to introduce a novel or story for your literature class, you can put a bunch of random yet meaningful items inside the suitcase and let it sit right there in front in anticipation until it's time to pull each item and let students predict or infer what the item could symbolize. The best part? You can use the suitcase over and over again as you encounter the symbols all throughout the unit. Okay guys, so I hope you were able to get a lot of good ideas from this video. I'm very much looking forward to hear from you on how you were able to start your first day of class and most especially how you were able to introduce your subject creatively to your students. Again, remember this, it's the teacher that makes the difference, not the classroom, says Michael Murphy. Thank you so much for watching this part. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye.